I became friends with the second cutest girl in my class. Author, Takata. Chapter 4, Keeping Secret. Today was another Friday. Okay, that's it for today. Remember, don't play too much just because it's the weekend. Midterm exams are coming up soon. The bell rang, signaling the end of the class, and my classmates began to move in unison. Some went home immediately, some went to their club activities and some stayed in the classroom to discuss their plans for fun. See you, my Harakuen. See you next week. After saying goodbye to Oyama, I immediately left my seat. Since I didn't have anything else to do at school, of course, I would go back home immediately. Just before I passed through the door, I glanced at the group that Asanagi-san was in. He he hey, hey, Omi let's go somewhere today everyone said they want to do karaoke with the rest of the class. Ah, sorry, you, I have something to do today, so I have to go back home right away. Eh, again. Why is it so hard to hang out with you lately? Boo. I'm only busy on Fridays, not the whole weekend. Besides, aren't we practically inseparable every other day? That's true, but I want to be with Umi every single day. Asanagi-san was spoiling a mommy-san as if she was a puppy. In other words, their usual antics. They started doing this ever since Asanagi-san started hanging out with me on Fridays. Since today was Friday, we promised to hang out at my place like usual. Normally, we would play games together, but today we were planning to watch a movie. As for what kind of movie, Asanagi-san would be picking it, so I'll have to wait to find out what we're watching. Anyways, I'm busy today so I'll hang out with you tomorrow and the day after, so just be patient, alright? Boo. I understand. Whenever she had plans to hang out with me, she would always try to refuse a mommy sans invitation like this. After much deliberation, we came to the conclusion that Asanagi-san and I should keep our friendship a secret from the rest of the class. I proposed this to Asanagi-san and she agreed to it. As far as we were concerned, Asanagi-san and I were just friends, but other people might think otherwise. There were those that loved to ship certain couples. Also, even though Amami-san overshadowed her, Asanagi-san was still quite cute. If someone were to find out that we got along this well, they might start some unnecessary trouble. And I'd rather not deal with that. Asanagi-san, sorry. Asanagi-san, I might be late. My Hara, it's fine, don't worry about it. Asanagi-san, so. Asanagi-san, what's for dinner? My Hara, fried chicken, hamburger, fries. No salad. Asanagi-san, neat. After exchanging messages with her in secret, I tried to leave the class. If there's no smoke, there won't be a fire. But in my case, I'm holding quite a strong spark, so I need to be careful, else I start a fire that I'd have no chance of extinguishing. Alright, so. What should I get for today? Earlier this morning, I took the 2,000 yen that mom left on the table and put it in my pocket, wondering what I should eat with Asanagi-san. I found myself actually enjoying this, which was kind of out of character for me. Asanagi-san, ah. Asanagi-san, right. My Hara, what's up? Asanagi-san, I haven't told you the genre of today's movie. My Hara, MMM. Asanagi-san, shark movie. My Hara, shark movie. Why shark movie? When talking about shark movies, I could only imagine man-eating sharks randomly attacking people swimming in the ocean, blood spraying everywhere. Does she love that kind of B-movie? Hey, Umi. The thing you have to do. Is it a family matter? Yeah, what about it? Nothing it's just that I smell something fishy from you why does your voice sound bouncy I wonder. Asanagi-san and I had never talked with each other in class before, so we shouldn't have roused a mommy sans suspicion, but she's surprisingly sharp. Huh. Does it? But Asanagi-san didn't fall for it and instead replied to her calmly. Wait, you, do you actually want to go to my home and say hello to my brother? Well, I'll notify him then. Ugh. Ah uh, yeah, 
I wonder how long has it been since the last time you met my brother? Since first year of middle school. I'm sure that he'll be happy if he knows that you're coming who knows, maybe he'll even crawl up to you. Yui. I didn't know that Asanagi-san had an older brother, but it seemed like he had quite the personality. It was to the point that Amami-san was wincing like that. So. What will you do? Come over to my house, or just call it quits for today. I'll call it quits. Is that so? Too bad. Ugh. As expected of Asanagi-san. Not only did she deal with the situation calmly, she even pulled out the Uno reverse card on Amami-san. Also, it was refreshing seeing her telling such a brazen lie with a straight face like that. Tomorrow then. Yes, yes, I promise I'll make up for it properly, okay, Princess Yu? Although we previously agreed to not tell anyone about our friendship, I think it would be fine if Asanagi-san just told Amami-san the truth, but well, I'll leave it to her judgment. By the way, Asanagi-san seemed to be in a good mood. Chapter 5, The Girl Named Asanagi Omi After welcoming Asanagi-san who arrived a little late, we sat down to watch the movie she rented while eating the dinner we each had brought. As she had said, Asanagi-san rented a shark movie. The title was, Tremble in Fear. The Angel Shark. Original title, Angel Shark. The cover showed a man-eating shark with angel wings swooping down from the sky to attack the people below it. What the hell? From the title alone, it screamed B-movie. Do you like to watch this kind of thing, Asanagi-san? Nah, not really. I love mysteries and thrillers. Then, why did you rent this? Also, apparently, this movie was a new release, so the rental fee should be higher than usual. Well, I mean, sometimes, it's better for us to laugh our ass off at shitty movies like these rather than watching a serious one. Outside of school, Asanagi-san had a very different vibe. At school, she was a fairly serious student with excellent grades and athletic ability. She also tends to be the straight man within Amami-san's group. And that same Asanagi-san, right now. Shia. Gaia. Ha ha ha. Are you kidding me? A flying shark chomping people under the evening sun, that's gold. Was sitting on the floor, stuffing her face with fries while watching the movie played with its silliness laid bare. She looked like a totally different person. What's wrong, Maihara? Is the plot moving too quickly for you? Well, yeah. Stories aside, they sure put a lot of effort into making this movie. Right? The effort they put into making something this dumb is insane. Asanagi-san who would wear a cool smile in class, and the Asanagi-san who was cackling loudly while clapping her hands. I'm likely the only boy lucky enough to see both sides of her. But, something was gnawing at the back of my mind. Ah, right, it isn't like I mind hanging out with you and the other classmates, I actually like them, that's why I hang out with them so often in the first place. What's with this sudden change of topic? Mm hmm. I mean, my Hara, your face looks like you are confused about something. I wasn't sure if I should ask her about it or not, but she actually read my expression like a book, as expected of her. Well, your personality here and at school are really different, so I was curious. I had to play that role, you see. Everyone unanimously follows you, so someone has to rein them in, or else things will get messy. The flow of the conversations in class would be, Amami-san starting things with a joke while smiling cheerfully, the rest of the classmates joining her, then when things got a little bit rowdy, Asanagi-san would butt in. Without Asanagi-san acting as the straight man, the conversation would spiral out of control, gradually lose its momentum, and then be replaced by an awkward silence. I knew this from my experience observing the so-called, top cast, students from the corner of the class for quite a while now. I don't mind that kind of atmosphere. For me, rather than being seen as a gloomy person, I want people to see me as a cheerful person. But. You're pushing yourself, aren't you? Well, yeah. After nodding, Asanagi-san sipped on her cup of coke. Her eyes were focusing on the screen during the entire thing. Like I said, 
chatting and hanging out with you and the others is fun. But, while I always try my hardest to keep up with everyone, I do feel overwhelmed at times. Following the flow of the conversation. Guiding it so the atmosphere won't become unpleasant. There were times where I would suddenly get back to my senses and went, what the hell am I doing with my life? Even though Asanagi-san seemed relaxed most of the time, she sure had a lot on her mind, huh? That was probably why she was looking for a place she could turn to whenever she was feeling overwhelmed. A place where she could decompress without worrying about keeping up appearances. I know that your introduction might have been a sensitive topic, but it was my Hara's honesty that gave me the courage to reach out and become friends. I may be tired of being with the crowd at times, but I'm also not used to being alone. I understand that. Though it's the opposite for me. I'm used to being alone, but that doesn't mean I love being a lone wolf. My situation was the opposite of Asanagi-san's, but there were times when that feeling of loneliness struck me randomly while playing a game or reading manga. At that time, my mood would worsen and I'd feel depressed, thinking, what the hell am I doing with my life? Then, I guess we are alike in one way. Though I figured that out earlier, after all, we did eat junk food together like this, while laughing at a dumb shark movie on the top of that. Right? We've only hung out together like this a few times, but I felt like I got to know her a little better. Normally, she was a cool person who would take care of everyone, but once she threw that role away, she became a normal, cheerful girl who liked to mess around and acted a little bit sloppy. I felt just a bit closer to her now. Hey, Asanagi-san. What is it? Next time, I'm picking the movie. Will you get an alligator movie next? Let's not watch another animal-themed one, okay? The weekend passed by as me and Asanagi-san planned our next meeting. By the way, the shark movie was decent, and actually quite funny. Chapter 6, Nickname Ever since I befriended Asanagi-san, going to school didn't feel like that much of a pain anymore. It was still a hassle, mind you. Our school day started pretty early in the morning, at around 7.30 a.m., so we had to wake up at 6.30 a.m. While I wasn't a bad student by any means, I hated studying. I'd rather not study if I could help it, and I found myself wishing for the school to be closed because of some random accidents quite often. Unfortunately, that didn't happen today, so I had no choice but to force myself out of bed and go to school. I tend to go to school early, though it wasn't because I was excited about it. There was a good reason for me to do so. Good morning. Good morning. I quietly bowed toward the principal as he greeted the students from in front of the school gate, then walked through the sparsely populated corridor to my classroom. My watch showed that it was 7.15 a.m. Since the corridors usually got crowded around five minutes before class started, I could hide behind the crowds and enter the classroom with them, but there was a small problem with that plan. You'll understand if you were to look at the other classroom. Ah, good morning, you're early today. My club had morning practice today, it just ended. I had to wake up at five. Whoa, as expected, you guys just built different. I immediately left them. Those people should have chatted inside the classroom, but for some reason, they decided to chat in front of the door. They probably met each other in front of the class and started to talk as soon as they did. Obviously, this was annoying, especially whenever I told them to move, because they were in the way, they would glare at me. The later it got, the more people would do something like this, this was the reason why I tried my best to come to school earlier than the crowds would. Oh, good morning, Yu Chin. Ah, Nina Chan, morning. Sadly, my luck today was rotten. The person in front of me was a mommy san and Nita san, I think. She hung out with a mommy san and Asanagi san often. Most classrooms had two doors, so when something like this happened, you could just enter the classroom from the other door, but, unfortunately, since my classroom was located at the end of the hallway, it only had one entrance. So, if I wanted to enter the classroom, I had to shoo those two away. Yu Chin, did you watch it last night? Emichim, I watched it live last night. Himuro-kun was awesome, wasn't he? What are they talking about, 
I wonder. A show. Maybe a male idol appeared on the show, who knows. Around that time last night, what did I do again? Shooting people on Apex? Well, whatever, since they were talking about some nonsense I didn't know about, I decided to go to the toilet to waste some time. I did this previously and it worked, so it is worth a shot. I washed my hands in the bathroom, fiddled with my bangs that I never really cared about, then peeked toward the entrance again. I took my time, so I should have wasted a few minutes on that. They shouldn't take more than three minutes to chat like that, so I should be able to enter the classroom now. I'm more of a fan of Itamura-chan than Himuro, he has this, bad boy, aura, you know what I mean. Ah, I can see that. Himuro-kun is still irreplaceable though. Somehow, they multiplied. I took my time, but I forgot to consider that Amami-san was there too. A crowd would naturally form around her, no matter the time and place. I would have a better chance shooing them off when there were only two of them. I guess my plan backfired, huh? It can't be helped. I gave up resisting and decided to face them head on. After all, if I were to loiter around the toilet again, people would give me a strange look. Before I realized it, the crowd around Amami San had increased from three people to four. Still, the space they occupied was a narrow one, why didn't they just sit down somewhere in class? Um, excuse me? I called out to them, but guess they didn't hear me since Amami San and her group continued their talks. Even though I was standing right in front of them, none of them noticed me. Either they were too absorbed in their conversation or I just didn't have a strong presence. Should I just shout at them? Ah. Uh. Ah, right, there'll be another broadcast today at 11. Eh, really? That's sick. I tried to call them out again, but their numbers increased from 4 to 5 at that moment and my voice was drowned by their chatter. I'm getting pissed. Should I start something here? I mean, whatever happens next, at least it would be a good stress reliever. You, you're in the way. Ouch. When I was about to call out to them again, a sixth person entered the crowd and landed a karate chop on Amami-san's head. It was Asanagi-san. Scooch, I need to go to the restroom. You guys are crowding the door, I can't get through. Also, don't you realize you're blocking other people's way too? Ouch, ouch. Right, sorry, Omi. As long as you understand, now, move, shoo. Wait, Umi, I'll go with yo, ouch. You just went there not too long ago, wait for me in your seat. Boo fine. When Amami-san returned to her seat, the crowd around her followed. It was like watching a school of fish. Well, whatever, I could enter the classroom now. Suddenly, my eyes met Asanagi-san's as she walked out of the classroom. To keep our friendship a secret from the rest of the class, we would normally just ignore or avoid each other at school, but sadly, this circumstance didn't allow me to. After all, she did that out of concern for me. I would feel guilty if I were to ignore her and treat her like a stranger. Thank you, Asanagi-san. Also. Good morning. Pememem. Good morning, Maihara. We whispered so that the other classmates wouldn't notice it, then we passed each other. The very next moment, Asanagi-san sent me a text. Asanagi-san, it feels strange, you keep calling me, San, dot. Maihara, then, Asanagi. Asanagi-san, just call me Omi. Maihara, Asanagi. Asanagi-san, kidding but, seriously, call me whatever you like, I'm okay with anything. I could call her by anything whenever we hung out, but I wonder if the day when we could call each other by our first name at school would ever come.